Judaism and Christianity share their creation story as found in the book of Genesis. But before we look at the creation myth, it's probably a good idea to define that word myth. Myth is a traditional story. Uh, it's not necessarily true, but it's con containing truths for the tradition of which it belongs. So it might be a way of explaining uh, the inexplicable or of handing down information about a historical event or about people. There are two formal creation accounts in Genesis 1 and 2, and they're followed by the account of the Garden of Eden in Genesis 3. Now, I'm going to do this a bit differently. In 2014, Darren Aronofsky caused uh, quite a bit of controversy with his graphic novel and movie Noah, the one starring Russell Crowe. Um, many religious leaders actually embraced the movie. They thought it was quite good and it um, brought uh, religious themes to the forefront of the populace. Uh, but one scene in particular caused a number of issues and it was cut from the final film. The what we're going to do is I want you to watch it. This is Noah explaining me. the story of creation to his family. And then afterwards I'll have questions that will be on Ed Puzzle. Okay? Thank you. In the beginning, there was nothing. the silence of an infinite darkness. But the breath of the Creator fluttered against the face of the void, whispering, let there be light. And light was, and it was good, the first day. And then the formless light began to take on substance and shape, the second day. And our world was born, our beautiful, fragile home a great warming light nurtured its days. And a lesser light ruled the nights. And there was evening and morning, another day. And the waters of the world gathered together. And in their midst emerged dry land. Another day passed. And the ground put forth the growing things, a thick blanket of green stretching across all creation. And the waters, too, teemed with life. Great creatures of the deep that are no more. Vast multitudes of fish, some of which may still swim beneath these seas. And soon, the sky was streaming with birds. And there was evening, and there was morning, a fifth day. Now the whole world was full of living beings. Everything that creeps, everything that crawls, and every beast that walks upon the ground. And it was good. It was all good. There was light and air and water and soil, all clean and unspoiled. Your plants and fish and fowl and beast, each after their own kind, all part of the greater whole, all in their place, and all was in balance. It was paradise, the jewel in the Creator's palm. And the Creator made man, and by his side woman, father and mother of us all. He gave them a choice. Follow the temptation of darkness, or hold on to the blessing of light. But they ate from the forbidden fruit. Their innocence was extinguished. And so for the ten generations since Adam's sin has walked within us. brother against brother, nation against nation, man against creation. We murdered each other. We broke the world. We did this. Man did this. Everything that was beautiful, everything that was good, we shattered. Now, begins again.